hello everyone welcome to another beautiful video in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to connect your server or how to do your server settings create email do all the server settings and connect your email with elastic email so that you'll be able to send email with no suit so first thing you need to do is come here to this uh, server settings let me draw this thing down you can see i click on this server settings and we want to um, create an SMTP server. So we are going to click on SMTP server. It's going to open a new tab. It's going to open a new tab. So this is the SMTP settings. So these are the emails I've been able to add before. But in this case, you are going to click add new. So you are going to click add new. I'm adding a new one you put the email address here so when you get to this point you need to pause and then go to your C panel you go to your C panel the, your hosting C panel so you, you come to your C panel you come down and click you see email account you click email account so you are going to create an email with your domain name you can see that I've been able to create some emails before but this time you just click it your own might be blank but you, what you need to do is just click this create and then you choose your domain from here i want to use um loom suit i'm using this domain then i will say i can it can be anything but you cannot repeat the one you've used before let me say customer at loomsuit.com so I'm going to generate password so I will copy this password let me let me generate the password I'm sorry let me repeat it So I've been able to generate a password, then I will click create. <clears throat> Please don't forget that your password. Then when you were able to do that, what you need to do is this is the email I created just now. This is the email I created just now. So the next thing you need to do is to go to elastic email. This elastic email and what you need to do is to register with the elastic email this the website is let me copy this domain from here and show you or let me take away this so to go to the website you just need to type elastic email.com so when you get to elastic email.com you need to register with elastic email when you reg after registering with elastic email then in in the process of registry you You'll be taken to this uh, to this place your account and these settings so you need to add your domain here so what you need to do is to click verify domain let me go and copy the new domain i just uh, created this is customer you copy this then you come let me go back to elastic email you click on verify email you place your email there after placing it you click verify Please check your inbox and click on the verification link in the email to we have sent we have just sent to you so let's cancel this and let's go to let's go back to our, uh, our C panel and go and check the email from here I will click check email So because I'm coming here for the first time, I just need to click uh, any of these. Uh, you can just just click this open. You can use rank cube or or whatever. Just click this open. So it will take you to your email. It will take you to the inbox of your email. 
you can see the email has been sent so let me click this twice you can see this is from elastic email so this is the code or oh, sorry this is the link they sent to me it's like a piece of code which i need to copy you just copy it like this you copy it and you open a new tab here yeah? then you drop it you can say paste and go you will see that the email will be verified okay let me log in again so let me go back to verify domain so that now let's go and see the email you can see now the email has been added here and it has been verified after you've been able to verify your email then you you will need to do one more thing with um, elastic email you need to verify your domain you can see here this domain is loopsuit.com i've been able to verify three emails here customer at loopsuit.com Ola at loomsuit.com and support at loomsuit.com so those are the three emails i've been able to verify here after verifying your email you need to verify your domain so this you can see domain verification and i've been able to verify my domain but this domain verification i would like you to i would like you to give it to name name chief for them to handle it for you so basically what you are going to do is this. you click verify domain you put your domain here when you put your domain here you click add i don't want to add another i don't have a domain to add now you click add when you click add it will come it will come to this space it will take you back to the list of this your domain you can see that i've been able to add three domains already so you, you can see this domain one smartkb.pro that's one domain you can see the other domain i've been able to verify them loomsuit.com and the third domain is sendaction.com so what you need to do now is when you had your domain you will need verification so what you need to do is this let me see i've been able to verify this in your own case when you just add your domain it will not be verified so all this mark all this mark now all this mark sign now they are going to be they are going to be like cancelled they will be they will be in red so you are going to click this you can see when you click this you'll be able to when you click this you'll be able to verify your domain and there is always one video they will let me see i want to get a video they always have a video you can use um, Give me one give me 10 seconds let me look for the video and i'll be back in this video yes thanks for i'm, I'm back so what you need to do is i've been able to get the url so what you need to do is to get this url i'm going to drop this url under this video i'm going to drop this url what you need to do is to get this url then after getting this url sorry after sorry after visiting this url now it's a web page it's still inside elastic email just inside the elastic email you need to verify your domain it verify your domain means putting two numbers of dns code on your c panel so what you need to do is i don't want you to do it yourself because i don't want uh, you to like uh, make a mistake with it so what you need to do is just go to just go to your hosting I, I i use a uh, name chip just go to your hosting and go and chat with them go and chat with them go and chat with uh, looms um name chip support or whatever hosting we are using and tell them to to use this video they are going to use this video with this right up here to confirm your email to to like add those records for you let's read what is there let's relate to what is there to verify your domain, complete white label your your email with your own domain and Im improve your delivery. So this is the video. And if you if you are tech savvy, you can watch this video and do it yourself. It's very very easy. You can watch this video and do it yourself. But if you can't do it yourself, just send this link. That is what I on my own part. That is what I do. 
I sent this link to to um to name cheap uh, customer customer care uh, which is their 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 their, 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 their shirt. So they added the two they added the two code to my C panel. Let let me let me show you those two codes now. You can see okay, sorry, this email. Oh, let me refresh this place. I've been able to verify this email. So why is it coming this way? Let me see. Ah, the email has been verified. So let me show you these are the this is the page at which you are going to get those codes but you can actually get those codes from this video as well this this page you can see this is from this page this is one of the code this is what this just at is one of the code this is another code and i think this is another one this api whatever is another one so when you send it to them they will understand and add the two codes for you. Maybe in, in in thirty minutes or two hours, it's going to it's going that thing will work after they had it. Or you watch this video and use it to add the two code to your to your to uh, it's it's like a DNS record. You want to create a text record in your domain. So when you finish doing that, what you need to do is to come back to um to come back to elastic email and click verify email so you can see this one has been able to verify before it's telling me to re verify the email but in your own case you don't need to re verify you will see that it will not even bring the verify it will bring verify email then when you click the verify email this one will turn to mark it will mark this it will mark this because they are on cancelled before it will mark all of them and you are set to send email with your domain so I don't want to make this video too long. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to connect that email to Lumsu and use it to send email. So thank you. I will see you in another video.